I'm trying something different this month. My aim is to keep this bulletin short and sweet. Because I don't know how many people out there really want to sit through listening to me reading out long blurbs that you could always just read yourself anyway. My aim with these bulletins has always been to raise awareness of the books that are coming out that you might not be aware of. So let's jump right in. This is the Christian Fantasy and Science Fiction Bulletin for March 2020. And yes, it is still March, just. Bringing you the latest news and releases of speculative fiction created by Christians. I'm Adam David Collings. A group of authors, including Parker J. Cole and Travis Perry, have released a series of books called Beyond the Veil, combining speculative fiction with romance. A corporate facility has gathered the best minds to achieve maximum quantum entanglement, but a test goes wrong, allowing fantastical creatures to enter into our world through a portal. Despite all the chaos, romance is in the air. With all the creatures involved, can our characters find their happily ever after? The first in this series is called Beyond the Veil Prologue Book. You should be able to find the rest from there. Congratulations to Laura Van Arendonk Barr, who has been nominated and selected as one of three RMFW Independent Writers of the Year finalists. And speaking of awards, the Realm Award finalists for 2020 have been announced. They are... Fantasy finalists, Fire Dancer, Catherine Jones Payne, The Story Raider, Lindsay Franklin, Seventh City, Emily Hayes, Horror Other finalists, Amish Werewolves of Space, Kerry Neitz, Last Hope, Joshua C. Chad, Solitary Man, Eric Langfried, Science Fiction finalists, A Single Light, Tosca Lee, Brand of Light, Ronnie Kendig, The Line Between, Tosca Lee, Supernatural Paranormal finalists, as Far Away as Possible, Barry Napier. Mercury on Guard, Steve Razza. The End of the Dream, R.J. Conti. Young Adult Finalists, Romanov, Nadine Brandis. To Best the Boys, Mary Weber. Fire Dancer, Catherine Jones Payne. Middle Grade Finalists, The Law of the Grove, The First Hymn of the Star Singer Canticles, Sharon Keller Johnson. Iggy and Oz, The Plastic Dinos of Doom, J.J. Johnson. The Clockwork Dragon, James Hannibal. Children's finalists, Hello Ninja, N.D. Wilson. The Knight in Battered Armour, Brianna Tibbetts. Willoughby Goes a Wee Bit Batty, Pam Holter. Debut finalists, Circus Phantasm, Naomi P. Cohen. Keen Banshee Song Series, Book One, Laura L. Zimmerman. Fryan's Fire, Emily Jeffries. And for the covers, the Parable Award finalists, Airfoil Origins, Steve Raza, cover by Kirk Duponce. Heart of the Curiosity, H.L. Burke, cover by Austin Lord. The Story Raider, Lindsay Franklin, cover by Kirk Duponce. Thirst, by Jill Williamson, cover by Emily Hendricks Haney. To Ashes We Run, Just Be Jordan, cover by Demonza. Congratulations to all those who were nominated. Morgan L. Bussey has released Cry of the Raven, Book 3 in the Ravenwood Saga. Wife, warrior, lady of two worlds. As war looms, will her power be enough to save the ones she loves? Havoc have announced their foray into audio with the Havoc Story Podcast. The stories will be narrated by Magnus Carlson. The first story is Old Fashioned Letters by Dahlia Grigorescu. And Dahlia, I apologise if I didn't pronounce your name right. Sharon Hink has revealed the cover for Forsaken Island, Dancing Realms Book 2. On an uncharted world, happiness is effortless and constant. But can true joy exist without sacrifice? W.A. Fulkerson has released For Whom the Sun Sings through Enclave Escape, the new YA imprint of Enclave Publishing. The world is blind, and then one boy is born with sight. Kathy Tyers is writing a new science fiction trilogy, The Sunstone Saga. It's a trilogy set after the events of her novel Crystal Witness, which is coming out in June. The first book of the new trilogy is expected in early 2022. So what do you think about this shorter, snappier format? I'd be interested in your feedback. Don't forget, I have a podcast called Nerd Heaven, where I talk about popular science fiction stories. 
I've just finished weekly episode reviews of the first season of Star Trek Picard. I've got some Lord of the Rings content coming up, and I'll be delving into some superhero movies. So, I will see you next month. Live long and prosper. God bless. Thank you.